So, gonna do some Animal Crossing for a little bit. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying this one so far. That is not the time. The time is PM version of that. But I had to change the clock because store closes in 10 minutes. Visitor staying in the campsite. Alright, we got someone new. Who could it be? How is my home already rank A? Okay, I got new music, so let's just see if finally I have good indoor music that isn't clown music. Forgot how it was done for a sec. I, I guess <laughs> it's better. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna hang that up. Uh. Telescope I might put outside the museum. Okay. Not that I think... Oh, let's see. Not that I think I can vary my outfit that much, but I need a change. I really have no clothing. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have much of an option, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't know. The W can be for Will instead of Wario. Just for today. Okay, that was the big money tree. Now I gotta move Alice back. Alright, first thing to do. Hold on. I think she's got a recipe today. Oh, no. Welcome, please make yourself at home. Gavada! I like being independent, but there are things I think are important to do if you're living on your own. It's always good to eat healthy, it also helps to have a lot of budget-friendly recipes, Governor. <laughs> now I gotta move it back. But I have the marking there, it needs to take out those patterns I have on the ground and then it's positioned correctly. Infrastructure, layout changes, island home, Alice, <laughs> 20,000 bell mistake. 
I like that she's on board with it. Doesn't bring up the fact that I did this two days ago. Yeah, I don't know. The placing of this this tent thing is pretty clunky. Okay, so I think I got it right this time. Just <laughs> hold on. I'm worried that it might not be correct, but it should. All right. It seems correct. Put those markings on the ground for a reason. Okay, it seems correct. Problem solved, I think. Oh, I have carrots now. Oh, dark. <laughs> not, I mean, not that it matters, that was like a guide. See if the scam artist is in town. Not in town. What am I what am I even gonna do with these? Like it's just does cooking. We'll just put 10 storage and then sell the rest. Since Alice was so nice to let me do this. There you go. Telescope is, is Alice's. How are you doing, Foxtrot? What's the latest? Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around the Shambloni show until I've walked that far. Just call me Moonwolf. Today is a good day. Wait, I don't... Oh. I don't have a shovel. How did that happen? Oh, it's hardwood. Ugh. I always get it wrong.
Пока. I can't remember if the spark is worth a lot. Okay. May as well, I guess. at the campsite. <laughs> the clothes are in the rain again. Wait, but you were here last time. Again? No, but I don't want you here. Did it just keep him here? But <laughs> it's, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you here. <laughs> I thought it was going to be someone new. But don't tell me I don't get a choice in the matter. Hang on. The first camper. The first camper visiting is required to move into the player's island no matter what, and they will stay at the campsite until spoken to. Once spoken to... That's so annoying. <laughs> so I don't get a choice. I mean, I guess it could be worse, but I was trying to be picky this time around. Uh, all right. I swear, if they've done this because just tutorial. I probably should have looked it up last time. Alright, well, that's fine. Yes, move here. Wow, I'm honored. Uh, an exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. Dude, he even talks like frickin' Ravali. There's just one little thing. I'd hate for it to be too exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with, like, the VIP manager of the whole island first? I just need to know it's legit. Good and talk. 
I'm... My fate is in your hands, haha. <laughs> it's filled German. He just reminds me of Falco too much. Okay, well I guess I don't have a choice, huh? <laughs> I should just place those pitfall seeds in front of his house until he moves out. I really can't believe you don't get a choice. I'm gonna make another soup kitchen. I might do it outside though, like set up a stand and sell soup. I don't know if it's a different flavor. Okay, that's done. Tom, I got a villager that wants to move in. <laughs> That's the phrasing I'm using. My senses tell me you've been to see our guests at the campsite, hmm? How'd it go? He wants to live here. What, really? Well, you've done it, and so quickly. Then this means we have no time to waste. Hmm, our next course of action will be building a new home. Now, Will, since you closed the deal with our visitor, you should be the one to pick the location. Leave it to me. Okay. Housing kit. Okay. Well. I mean, after that, then I, I get to pick. It's just, I guess this first one, for some reason, they made it compulsory. Okay, well... They get the next plot. I think it was six, and then... Okay. But now, see, I run the risk of not setting this up correctly again. I'm getting rid of both of these trees. I'm gonna measure. I want everything to be nice, ultimately. Okay, so... Pretty sure it is six.
Okay. Yeah, it's six. Okay, so tie up. So step one in front of the front door and then go six. I'll clean up the mess afterwards. That? That's four. One, two, three, four. That's five. This is six now. And yeah. Okay, so. Hold on. I hear it, or is it? Okay, well, that paid for the moving costs. Should be correct. I hope. <laughs> but see, let. All right, that's fine. I'm pretty certain it's correct. If it's wrong, well, I'll spend another 20,000 bells to fix it. A smart thing to do would probably be to actually measure the other two up. That would be a smart, smart move. Then I don't have this problem again. Pretty much it's from... I have to move this.
Okay. I think this time I'll use this so it, it doesn't look so messy. This is going to indicate where the edges of it should be. Look, I may as well set up for the future. Um... One. I mean, this is probably enough to set up for it. Okay, so the tree does have to go. Okay, and now I can get rid of this. And there we go. probably squeeze in one more house over here. rock is in the way. I'll do something with these trees later, but I guess for now it's not the worst thing in the world for them to be... I wouldn't say that close to one another, but... This works. This is this represents the house edge. I 
Okay, it's a little it's a little bit different. I think. Hang on. Yes. It doesn't perfectly line up, and I don't think it ever will, but... I mean, I guess I could force it to at some point. And then the house would be here. It's fine, it can form a straight. I think I got this correct now. I just want to make sure I don't confuse myself. <laughs> okay. So the stones represent where the back of the house should line up. Then this is clear way. sure I'll move my- I mean, I could move my house, so then it lines up, so, I mean, the house would be- I'm debating it, but for now. I think I'll leave it. Did you find a place for us to build a new home? Yes. Oh, fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our new island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible. Hmm. This has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here. But scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is too much of a haphazard way of doing business. Ah, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, 
We'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. We'll charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, you'll get Miles as a reward. Hope you can count on you again. So, I mean, I guess I, now I can go island hunt. Infrastructure. Sell some land. Yes, okay, cool. Do I mean, we'll see. I have miles to go to a couple of islands. Okay, so this one... Wow. <laughs> uh... Alright, that, that looks correct. One at a time. I'll do the, the morning stuff now. For city planning. I guess it is nice and convenient that all the fruit trees are like here. Which I think ultimately that's how I want it to be. Just maybe more organized. time they're up, I'll chop down normal trees and move stuff around. bench. Okay, I've got a couple more fossils to find. Future bridge once I can actually just fix the land up here.
No. I want to. I, I want to sell stuff. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Make a new net here. I've still got to decide what to do, like on this side. I've got a plan for the other side of the island. This side, not so much. I might do is move this tree so then there's nothing on the northern side then I only have to worry about just the southern side for fruit oh crap there's a flower in the way I would have been sad if that would have been the money one.
Okay. Stop. Why is drop <laughs> why is drop the first option? I can kinda guess why actually. But still, I think it's still a good idea to just not have to think about the side of the river. back here. Okay, well this one is confirmed to be standard. There's room, there's room. <laughs> Definitely look into clearing some next time, but right now. us to be too far away. Alright, cool. Now I don't have to go look anywhere in the northern side of the map, it's all just 
on the bottom side. makes it a lot easier now. Okay, I think that's it. Now identify the fossils and I can go look for villages on the islands. Oh, right. <laughs> Keep forgetting the museum got moved. Right now it's a little inconvenient because I don't have the other bridge, but eventually it'll make sense. That's what I'm looking for, the, the eventually. Wake up, ladders. Okay, there's some duplicates. Duplicates. Iguanodon. Alright, teach me about the Iguanodon. Ah, uh, that graceful ballerina of the Cretaceous. The Iguanodon. When I say it was graceful, I mean by the ahem. <laughs> Rather low bar set by the other large herbivores. Apparently it would nimbly dodge the attacks of predators and fight back with its thumb claws. It could even walk on two legs when it wanted to, uh, truly it was the most elegant and lithe of the dinosaurs. And that is what I have to say about that. Light. All right, let's hear it. Copper lights are, in fact, um, bits of fossilized feces. Ugh, ew. It's true. It must be said they are also astonishing treasure troves of ancient information. Or what? For example, the coprolite from certain plant-eating dinosaurs has been found to contain small pebbles. This tells us that these dinosaurs, like many modern birds, ate rocks to help grind the greens in their bellies. Indeed, fossilized species revealed not only what food dinos ate, but how they digested it too. Who knew? There you have it. Fascinating stuff now. Stego tail. I think we. 
You can't talk about Stegosaurus without ma uh, talking about the distinctive diamond-shaped plates on its back. These plates, while made of bone, were not actually connected to the animal's skeleton. They simply grew out from the skin, remarkably enough, and were up to two feet tall and similarly wide. It's not exactly clear how the plates were arranged or what they were for, yet more mysteries of the ancients. Okay. The Pachysaurus skull. Yes, it's done. The Pachysaurus is complete. I feel bad saying no to blathers. <laughs> Pachycephalophosaurus was, to be blunt, not the brightest star in the dinosaur firmament. What I mean is... With its incredibly thick skull, some 10 inches thick in spots, it didn't have much room for, well, for brains. Its brain was likely quite small, but at least it was extremely safe in its bony prison. Okay. I just wish the art stuff showed up more often. Sell the spares and I'll go get a ticket. Well, I guess I'm almost at the point now where. I mean, do I want to put it into the home? I guess so. This garden gnome. It's like a biker garden gnome. I've never seen that one before. I might get a second one just for shits and giggles. Zeros. Alright, there we go. Oh crap, I forgot the ticket. <laughs> Seeing if there's anything new. Got 
let's see how we go. Still need bamboo. Kind of low key, just want that. I don't care too much about anything else. It's not a bamboo island. Another koala. Ah, oh, damn it. But do I want to double up on koalas? Who is this? Mel- it's even Melba. It's like, Melba. Okay, well I kinda have to now. That's just like, another equally good Australian themed. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I have good luck, but like... Hey, Melba. It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island. Well, I like it well enough, but move to my island. Wow, that's such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to, your, to live on your island, unless you were just teasing me. Do you really mean it, Toasty? <laughs> toasty. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook about relocating Toasty. Better do that before I forget. What's this luck I have? Like... I mean, I don't mind having two koalas. She's just as good as Alice. I've seen most of the villages, so I'm not sure what's out there, but I just, I guess I go with what I think would look visually nice. Catch a couple more bugs. gonna try again and see what the next filter is. I mean when I'm on a roll I'm on a roll. I 
can afford to put another plotted land down, so why not? Should have put some of that other stuff away. I don't think they're gonna move in the same day, it's like one per day, but at least I can set it up. Okay. I'm gonna go for the hive because it sells. There we go. Once I got the fruit, I think I'm pretty much done here. <laughs> ah, that's funny. take me long to populate my town with villages that I want. I think the harder thing is <laughs> probably getting rid of the ones that I don't want. Which at this point it's just the falco looking bird and the gorilla. I guess the mouse to some extent, but yeah, those three. I didn't really have a choice with those ones, like, starting to, and then the camper, which I had to take. But otherwise, every single one I've gotten to pick so far has been good. set up another house and it's another villager that I'm after. <laughs> uh, I think some people are going to be unhappy with me. Okay. 
Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Peppa had a wonderful weekend. Uh, yeah. Just was really busy last week and it's gonna be busy this week, but... The end of this week is a public holiday, so I got the, uh, the Friday off, which was nice. But you're tired as fuck, had a lot of work, oh. A lot of shifts, huh? Yeah. I, I feel that. That was... What night was it? I think it was either the Thursday... I think it was either the Thursday or the Friday. But people were telling me, like, Hey, is there something wrong? Like, you, you sound out of it. You sound tired. I was very, very tired. Okay. Very long nights. Ah. Well, hopefully you got some relaxed time now. Yeah, thankfully it is a short week this week, albeit busy. Twelve hours on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, damn. And you do the whole, like, night shift thing, right? <laughs> that is definitely a rip you. I mean, I pretty much did 12 hours today, so... I don't know how that feels. I guess I need more fruit, anyway. Only work night, yeah. Twelve hours at night is is a lot tougher. my luck and see what other villager I can get. Today is a recovery day. When's the next time you have to work? Yeah. It's not yet clear, depends on you. Fair enough. Identify first. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I remember. That's how you say that. Dinosaurs and their complicated names. Quetzalcoatlus, the undisputed ruler of the skies, at least during the Cretaceous period. Cretaceous period. It had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. 
While it no doubt soared magnificently, we now know that it also crawled on all fours. It's a bit of disappointing, really. This illustrious sky god scrabbling on the ground like a common beetle. Okay. But yeah, my day off on Friday is like because of <laughs> what ball game. Uh, I love talking about this public holiday because it's, it's, it just sounds so dumb if I just describe it as, oh, I have a day off because football game. I mean, there's a little more to it, but in, in spirit, that is what's happening. The reason it's happening is just because the sport was invented in the state that I live in. And there's a lot of historical significance around it, pretty much. It's still, it's still, it's still dumb. <laughs> it's still really dumb, but I like, I like that I have a day off. Before this, the gap was four months before. It was like, you'd have a public holiday in June, and then you wouldn't have anything until November. And it was, it was more than four months, jeez. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'll do. Supposed to catch up with a friend in the evening, but like during the day, I mean, how's it gonna be like? Oh man, it's gonna be like a really nice day outside. I might go get some lunch or something. I might go to a Japanese place. I haven't done that in a while. Um, infrastructure. That's where it is. Sell some land. Reason for a day off can't be dumb. I mean, if I, when I tell people that I have a day off, it's like if Americans got the day off for the Super Bowl, you know? That's the equivalent we're talking about here. And then the one I got after that is, is for a horse race. That's the one in November. See, it's it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> then it goes back to normal. Then it's you know Christmas, the Boxing Day thing, then Australia Day, which is now effectively our Fourth of July thing. It's cool. I mean, okay, the horse racing one, to be fair, is nice because I don't do this. It's not my thing, but like what they do at these ho at the big horse race thing is like people dress up, you know, very nicely. They wear fancy hats and fancy clothing. Like people wear suits and dresses, and they go watch this horse ra horse race and effectively get drunk. <laughs> that's that's what it's about. I don't like massive crowds, so it's never appealed to me because it's just like. You dedicate the whole day to it, and it's, it's just a massive hassle. But, you know, I appreciate the spirit of it. There's an Australia Day. Yeah, it's just... It's a mix of colonial, and I guess... It's understood just have... Cook a grill. Cook out in a grill. Barbecue day, that's it. But, you know, it marks the anniversary of the British arriving in Australia, which 
contentious to say the least, but the spirit of it these days is less about that and more about just hanging out with people. Dressing up and getting drunk sounds like a normal weekend, but okay. How dressed up do you think I'm talking about? I'm talking about like fancy hats. Like, this is... Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can find pictures. Yeah, I mean, alright, dudes wear suits, and then, you know, people wear hats that are very feathery and stuff. It's like... No, oh, this is, this is probably... Probably good. Yeah. I mean, specifically, this is, like, fashion show stuff, but... People generally dress like that. Gives you a good idea. I guess there are some people hanging out in those photos, but yeah, that's more or less what it is. I'm just not into the whole horse race thing, so it's just like, eh. <laughs> Alright, let's try. See what we got. It's a nice time of year, just because... There's stuff usually going on around that, not necessarily the race itself. Alright, let's see who I got. I may not have gotten a villager on this island. This is one of the fancy islands. Unless they're at the, at the top, potentially. I've ever participated. Uh, no. Just because the horse racing stuff isn't my thing. Not as a whole, well, not, not, not in the race, no, but I haven't gone to the actual event, it's just... You, you basically have to dress up like you're going to a wedding, almost. Almost. And it's just not, I guess in my circle of friends, we're just not into that. Like, okay. I find suits uncomfortable, but I get their appeal. And it's just because to get a suit that's comfortable, you have to spend a lot of money. <laughs> and me being someone that um, grew up in, like, poor immigrant circumstances, it's just like I've, I've never had the experience of, like, you know, getting a suit that's made for me specifically. It's always just been, oh yeah, just get this thing that's off the shelf, it's like, cheap. But I would imagine the suit would be very comfortable if it was m made for you specifically. So, I'd be more about it if it was that. But I just, yeah. I find more comfort in hoodies and stuff like that. That's just me. But I got the appeal of it.
the closest I've been to that event was my brother used to live around there, like, ages ago. So the, there was one weekend where there was something else going on alongside of it, so we went to that, and then, yeah. I guess we saw people going in and people leaving that place. It was kind of funny. Just how people struggle to walk in, in fancy shoes after a day of drinking. That's the closest I've been. But it's one of those things that... I mean, going by the crowd, like, it take easily take, like, an hour to get in and probably an hour to get out. I mean, maybe one day. Just... I think I'd have to go with someone that is interested in that stuff and finds it fun, which I, I guess I've never had anyone be interested in that stuff. Oh no, it's gonna push me back. It's fine. How about you, Messiah? Have you ever been to, like, a horse race or something like that? Is there anything like that <laughs> that you can relate to? Like a fancy... Fancy dress code for something that... I don't know, I, I don't see the horse race as being fancy. I think that's the part that's the most interesting, it's just like... People go and get drunk and make bets, and they dress fancy to do that. I got unlucky with this island. There's no villager. But I'll try again. There you are. You would not go to a horse race. You would feel sad for the horses. Yeah, that's part of the reason why a lot of people don't go as well, is they don't like the, uh, the horse side of things. Just because they can get prone to get injured in a way that, like, is non-recoverable. I'm not sure it's going to be something that'll stand the test of time. You like to go to sports events like the tennis. See, I wouldn't mind going to the tennis. I can watch tennis. And Australia has a major event that's like on the, the circuit of uh, tennis tournaments, so. The downside to it, however, is like it happens in summer where it's like hot as fuck. <laughs> like really a test of endurance but I can watch tennis like yeah some of the some of the heat those players have to put up with I don't know how they do it 
But that's probably why it's a good tournament. It's like a real test of endurance. I mean, what? Let's see. If it's really bad, it's like temperatures above 104 Fahrenheit. That can happen during that tournament. It can hover around there as well, but like... It just depends how, how lucky they are. Sometimes it doesn't get anywhere close to that, but... Your friends and you sometimes call it sweatness. <laughs> well, it's pretty accurate for the Australian Open. That's basically what it is. They, those players' permanent state of sweat, like, they'd be just walking outside before the match even starts and they'd be sweating. Yeah, the, they would be sweating but not even playing. I, I don't know what they do about... yeah. Because there's, there's definitely shade, and I don't think... I don't know what they do about the heat. Like, I'm not sure if they have some form of air conditioning for the spectators, but... It's just one of those things that I haven't gone to. The only sporting thing I've gone to is, like, they have this kind of shorter cricket series they have. Cricket is very long. But they have this this thing where it's like more fast paced and a friend of mine for their birthday wanted to go, so I, I went along. That was fun. It was more the social aspect that I enjoyed, less about the sport. I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about cricket. I know nothing about the sport, but tennis I can follow that. Cold drinks or a parasol. <laughs> Cold drinks would work. I don't know about a parasol. That might get in. The, that might get in the way. Hang on. I'm curious about this. Is the <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, so so this is this is the official response. Okay, so for every other tournament that they have in Australia, there the the venue is air conditioned, but specifically for the Australian Open. They they make it so every time the roof is open. So that it's fair. Okay. Got it. So the answer is they could, but they don't. <laughs> I think it would suck for someone visiting Australia that isn't used to that heat. I think, for me, I could deal with it. Like, I'm acclimated to it. But say, for people from Europe, or I guess some parts of America that don't get heat, that would- that would suck. <laughs> it really would.
Especially if it's one of those matches that just goes on forever, like, you know. They're in, the, they're, they're in a bit of a stalemate and they just have to keep playing. I wanted to play a bit of F-Zero, but we'll see. rather not leave this without finding another villager, but we'll see. Is there a campfire? There's no campfire. Maybe you can only run into one villager per day. Okay, I mean, if that's the case, I should stop wasting the miles and just save them for tomorrow. Or next time, I should say. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Music is nice. This is why this game was great in 2020. There's only two weeks left until the new Mario game, so I gotta make an effort to finish Pokemon as well. I'm nearly there, it's just some things that are gonna be a pain in the ass to do. I'm really looking forward to the Mario game. It just looks really nice. Comes out on a weird day, unless I misinterpreted the date. I might need to look again. It's possible I read the date wrong. Can't wait to hear the new Yoshi voices properly. It's about time they changed. I just I I never liked the sound Yoshi makes. 
when it does the uh, the flutter thing. Oh, okay. Alright, I mean, that's good enough. I don't have a shovel now. I guess I can... One thing I've always wanted them to do, and I don't think they ever will do it, but I want... A game like the Mar you know, the new Mario game. But the cast I want it to be Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. Like as the four characters, instead of Peach and Toad. I get why they put Peach and Toad, but like I would love a game where it's all just all four of those. I don't think it's ever gonna happen though. Yes. That would be awesome. Yeah, it'd be the first time Luigi's kind of in a in a game where he's not just I guess a minor character. Or even better, like there was a game where it was Crash Bandicoot and Neo Cortex teaming up together. I would love to see a game where Wario and Mario are forced to team up together. Just something like that. Visiting that idea would be great. I mean, they've kind of done it with Bowser already, but... I don't know. I just want another warrior platforming game. We haven't had one. I want to say 10 years, but it's probably been like 15, if not more. If I say 15 years, it's just going to make me feel old. I finished making my Zelda tier list video and released it, and it's just, <laughs> I couldn't help but feel old when I was talking about some of the games. It's just like, shit. Some of these games really did happen a very long time ago. Wing. Okay, well it's a duplicate. Alright, I have a choice. I can either play Pokemon or I can play F Zero. I'm just thinking which <laughs> like F Zero is more casual. Pokemon I I'd be making an effort to finish it, but I probably won't get through it today. I want to do better than 5th. That's the best I've gotten in F-Zero, but I'm kind of at a point now where my ranking makes it really hard for me to get in the top 10 now. Tough decision. Well, what would you want to see, Messiah? If you had a choice... Flip a coin. <laughs> Old Matt stretch. 
old man stretch. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I mean... At least this music's better. <laughs> At least you didn't hear a crack. Uh, I'll be back. Nah, I'm not. I'm not that old. I guess the last thing to do is just stone an otter. And maybe in that time I, I can decide on what I want to do next. You would choose F0. Okay. I think I need more time for Pokemon. Wait. <laughs> Are you saying because you because you picked F0 I would now play Pokemon? Like I'm not gonna listen. Is this reverse psychology, like, you want me to play Pokemon so you're saying F-Zero, but then that might be the plan all along. I don't want to have to think this hard at 11, <laughs> almost 12, jeez, it's almost midnight. Now I pick F-Zero, well I, I didn't, I was just... I want an opinion. I was probably gonna go with it, to be honest. But why not Pokemon? I'm at a point in Pokemon now, so... I have... Oh, nice. Um... I have like 30 or so Pokemon left to get. But the problem is I have to grind now. That's I guess I'd be going to the power plant next, but after that it's the Elite Four and my Pokemon just aren't ready for it. So it'd be a lot of it would be a lot of training. Which I can do. But I guess if I was doing that, I would want maybe three hours. Whereas in F-Zero, it's easier for me to go, okay, I can stop now. So that's why I, I, I was asking. It's like, I don't want to make the choice. Someone choose for me. I'm an adult. I can, I can cut myself off. It's fine. Like... I can go to the power plant, that can probably eat up an hour and a half, and that should be enough. <laughs> well, 12 hours today of work. It's just, I want someone else to pick for me.
power plant is long. Yeah, I think it is. Not too long, but long enough. But at least I've gotten pretty much all the annoying Pokemon catches out of the way. I feel as a child it was an eternity. <laughs> it probably felt that way. The thing that I'm surprised I don't remember is Tauros. I remember it being easy to catch that thing and it being common, but it wasn't. That's the one that's taken the longest to catch so far. Come on. There's the scallop. I just want the reward from Stoner Otter. Alright, the other thing I can do is I can put it on a spinning wheel. And then we can watch the spinning wheel spin. And pick the game. It's like in times where I can't choose, <laughs> I bring out the spinning wheel. Is it? Zapdos is there too. Yeah. Zapdos, Electabuzz, Voltorb, Electrode, Magnemite, Magneton. Those would be the ones I'd be getting from there. So there's, there's quite a few. <laughs> Memory is still working. I yeah, see. Means you're not old. You can you can still remember things. Goldfish in terms of memory. I think you probably have just selective memory. You used to be able to remember things, you think. Oh, it looks like memory is working then. Oh, hello, is it Twitch yet? I just recall random stuff and useless trivia. I mean, but that retained useful information as well, but it's like pretty equal with useless information. Like, did you know that Mr. Mime used to have four fingers and now he has five? Did you know that muck spell backwards is... Oh look. Is this the scallop I'm after? Yes. Alright, cool. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. 
Since your circle uh, left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Whether you walk or run, you're gonna get there when you get there. That's why I backstroke, man. S stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. I didn't finish the sentence. Oh, I didn't finish the sentence, sorry. Um, so yeah, Muck spelt backwards is- Oh, come on! Like, really? You're here today? What? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be Flot Sam. Can I be Jet Sam? It just sounds more rugged. Yeah. Oh, don't make me go back to space. It's cold and dark and huh? I'm not in space. <sighs> Good old terra firma. Oh, it's you, Will. Were you the one who jabbed me awake now? Thanks. Also, ow. Feels like my cage got rattled pretty bad. I must have bonked the old noggin as I fell overboard. Maybe the pain will fade if I keep talking. Ha! <laughs> ah! Ah! Ugh, laughing bad. Laughing equals bad. Ugh. Will you hang out with me till the hurting stops? You got a face that screams ample free time. So, as I was saying, I must have slipped over the side of my boat. I have no idea where my ship is right now. The crew must be worried sick. Never fear. We'll be reunited in a jiffy. I'll just call for, call for help using my handy dandy. Ah, oh, my, my, oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, oh, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. It, Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical ponds to last a couple of hours. You. Yes, you. Will. Will you help me find my communicator parts? Alright. Really? Wow. I haven't gotten a reception this sweet and bubbly since I washed up on old cor coral cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you find them, try to... I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave this searching to you. I believe in you, partner. Don't have much of a choice. I sidestepped answering it and answered it. Or answered what now? Oh, I don't have a shovel. That would explain it. Wait, didn't I... Okay, hold on. I can, I can get it. I don't think I can find the image, but there was... It was a very long time ago. But there was an artist that did renditions of, uh... Like... What would happen if certain Pokémon types were normal types? So, you know... They had... A Charmander, for example, if it was like a normal Charm... A normal type Charmander, so non-fire. So it's just... Effectively a dragon. And a lot of the times, the artist would just change the color palette to be gray or white. So, one of those ones was was Muck, and, uh... Yeah, I mean, it looked like a particular substance. It looked like mayonnaise. 
What? what what's wrong with mayonnaise? <laughs> uh, I get it. Don't like mayonnaise. In some parts of the world, they dip fries in mayonnaise instead of uh, ketchup. So I, I can understand the aversion to to mayo. Listen, like, a sort of aioli is good with chips, fries, whatever you want to call it. Like a garlic aioli or a spicy mayo, that stuff is, is god tier. Apparently I found the, uh, mounted fish. Look, the, the, the joke about muck is not the worst thing I used to do in Pokemon games. The absolute worst was I would lame, I would nickname my Licky Tongue Winky Face. <laughs> That's probably the worst one. Uh. Guacamole is always number one. I mean, I, I don't mind it. Just not on fries. <laughs> on fries too. I mean, you can have it on fries. It's just, it wouldn't be my first preference. Like, they do loaded fries here that have, you know, guac, sour cream, jalapenos, jalapenos, um, and, like, little bits of meat. Like, sometimes it's chicken, sometimes it's chorizo, sometimes it's beef, but I guess it's steak. To be honest, I prefer no dips or condiments. That's fair. It's probably healthier. One thing, you know, if you want to try something Australian, get your hands on Australian chicken salt and put that on your fries. I keep tell I keep talking about this. It's good stuff. Or on your nuggies. It's great on nuggies. Or is Oliver. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. <laughs> Alright, the pieces are crammed back in there. Let's see if we can send a message. Oh, hi there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rubber. Listen, it happened again. Can you swing by and pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put on some flippers before you open it, okay? Ah, I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Nuggies, now you're hungry. <laughs> Well, don't let your dreams be dreams. But that being said, like, if you want to step up the nuggy game, get Australian chicken salt. They sell it on Amazon in America, they do. Just maybe not the brand that is the best, but still decent brand. And you put that on nuggies, you put that on fries, or you put that on popcorn, if you want, like, a salty popcorn. It's good stuff.
Do I have anything? I don't think I have anything to donate. Chicken salt. Can't be bothered. Is it just salt? Uh, it's not salt. So it's like, it's a it's a mix of things. The best way to describe it, you know how pumpkin spice. The reason they call it pumpkin spice is because it reminds you of fall. So chicken salt is a bunch of powders. I'm gonna call them S salt, being one of them, that are mixed together in, into a blend, and it's flavors that I guess you would associate with like fried chicken or like roast chicken. So it's just flavors that complement chicken really well. That's the summary. It's a it's a yellow it's a yellow powder, but it's got salt in it. So it's just called chicken salt. It's very yellow in color. But it is it is quite good. Highly recommend. Okay. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it for Animal Crossing for today. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. If you want to support the channel, just remember to click buttons. Particularly those of the variety that have the thumbs up on them. It does help out the channel a lot, so... Thank you to those that do do that, and uh, if you want to watch me play something else, I'm sure two other videos of mine have popped up, so I hope you check them out. But till next time, bye YouTube.